Okay, I think we're <coughs> ready to go. We're ready to go. All right, Mr. Moya. So Don Moya, that's okay? Yes. Okay, not Donald. Okay. Um, just let's kind of start out. I mean, what was your initial reaction when you got those messages, when this all kind of started, when you got those messages from Superintendent Valentino, um, he claims were an accident. What was your reaction when you got those? I was, I didn't think they were real. It was unbelievable. Um, I'm on my way to work. I see this text message. I didn't think it was real. Okay. Um, he says, you know, and, and, and when we had a sit-down interview with him, he had said that he was very disappointed that those messages got out to the public. Were you the person who sent those out to the public? No. Do you, do you regret them going public? No. Why not? Well, I think it brings to light um, the fact that um, I was bringing to light a shady deal, um, concerns over a shady deal, and the next thing I know, I'm receiving those text messages from the superintendent, um, which he admitted were intended for Hannah Scandera um, to plan my demise. Um, I was floored, to say the least, um, but I don't regret them being out in the public. Um, explain to us, in your lawsuit, you claim that... Hold on just a second. So just Sorry. Sorry, I hear the background noise and it might not be good. You're fine. Did I mess that up? A little bit. I'll just, I'll just take a sec. Look, right there. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> So you had claimed that um, Valentino at first offered you the position um, of deputy superintendent. Explain to us how that went down. He was very impressed with my team and my work and my background and um, he told me that my team was the most cohesive and highly functioning in the district, that he was grateful as a new superintendent to have um, a district that was financially solid. Um, based on that, he was offering me the job. I was flattered. What went wrong? I think that's a question for Luis Valentino. Um, I, I think that the details um, are outlined in the complaint. Um, but yeah, that would be a question for him. Okay. Um. You also claim in the lawsuit, when we were reading it over, that Governor Martinez and Hannah Scandera kind of urged the hiring of Jason Martinez. How do you back that up? Where is your proof on that? Well, I think the actions of Luis Valentino and Jason Martinez um, led me to the conclusions that are detailed in the complaint. Um, what do you hope? What do you hope to get out of this lawsuit? Uh, that the that people are held accountable, the people who were out to break the law or circumvent the law are held accountable. You um, or is this true? Did you have uh, any, I guess, argument with Jason Martinez? And did it have to do with contracts? Did it have to do with contracts, or did it have to, or you know, did it was it fueled maybe by you? not getting the position you were maybe you thought you were going to get? My motivation always has been to bring to light a shady deal um, and bring to light circumstances around a shady deal that I thought needed to be addressed. My motivation has always been to do what is in the best interest of the 89,000 students at Albuquerque Public Schools. I take my job very seriously. Um, and to be a good steward of public funds um, is something that um, isn't always easy to do, um, but I take it seriously. And that's all I was attempting to do, was make sure that we safeguard those public funds for the benefit of those we are there to serve. So your argument with Martinez, it was over contracts? 
there was an email exchange. I don't know if you would call it an argument, but there was an email exchange where we were disagreeing on how to proceed with this contract. Uh, another claim in the lawsuit that we kind of want to touch upon is that Scandera, I think, <coughs> okay, you said, quote, devised a plan to retaliate against you. How can you prove this? Again, how can you prove this? Well, I think, again, the actions of Luis Valentino um, led to the conclusions that are outlined in the complaint, but the fact that he sent her a text message, um, or s actually sent me a text message, that was intended for her planning my demise, what more do you need? What was your, do you have a response? What is your response to the governor's office? Um, I think it, you know, they sent us a, a statement saying that you were a Bill Richardson crony. You were, un, you know, you didn't have credibility. What's your response to that? I think it's unfortunate that the governor's office is choosing to attack me personally rather than focus on the issue at hand and those that were truly out to violate and or circumvent the law. Will you work for APS again? Do you want to work for APS again? I think it remains to be seen. Um, my hope is that I return to public service. Um, I love public service and um, I love my job. Have you been told a, like a, a time of when your admin leave is done or, you know, you can, is there a date on that? I've heard nothing from the district. I still don't know why I was put on paid administrative leave. Now there's a lot of talk in Albuquerque um, amongst residents, amongst parents of APS students, among the board. What should happen? Do you have any way in on what should happen with Valentina right now? That's up to the board. You're going to leave there. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have anything, Paul? Uh, no, that's good. If we could just take a second for me to get a two shot. Is sure. That, is that okay? Sure. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Two interviews, Pam. <laughs> he is hanging in there like a champ. Yeah. Can I ask one more question just to just to get kind of a, of a yeah. yeah thank you um just how has this all been this whole process i mean from the beginning when you first received those text messages to now it's been stressful you know it's um not easy to do the right thing um and oftentimes doing the right thing um can be exceedingly difficult and exceedingly stressful um, but I don't regret it. I, I did what I thought was right, and I still think it's right. And I, I again, take my job very seriously to be a good steward and to safeguard public money. Do you have any words for the board? Any board members, Valentino? No. Were you shocked of the allegations against, you know, um, Martinez coming out of Colorado? Yes. I was very surprised. Very surprised. We're good.